This is Kelly Blue Book's long-term Mazda MX-5 Miata. As we approach the halfway point in our year-long loan, here's what we've discovered so far. The Miata is tons of fun. As promised, we've driven it over brilliant back roads, along California's glorious coastline, and also spent some time at the racetrack. In all settings, the Miata's spry handling is exhilarating, but pushed hard on track, and the suspension feels a little soft with a bit too much body roll. If it were ours to keep, we'd tap into the aftermarket for a nice track day suspension setup. But even in stock form, our Miata is incredibly fun and capable. It's playful and quick without being a handful. When not living life to the extreme, our little red MX-5 functions fine as a commuter. It's got a great shifter, easy clutch, light steering, and the ride isn't nearly as firm as you might expect. Our car's retractable hardtop offers great security in the sketchier parts of Los Angeles while also ensuring that years from now, the roof won't go all soft and flappy. Surprisingly, the hardtop doesn't help much with interior noise. On the other hand, this isn't the kind of car that's meant to be driven top up, so shame on us for the times we do. Feelings towards the MX-5 are generally positive around the Kelly Blue Book offices, with one editor likening it to the first generation Miata. He describes it as the kind of car that you can have an emotional connection with, an impressive claim since said editor is 6 foot 5 and barely squeezes in the thing with the top up. Again, that's why the automotive gods made the MX-5 a convertible. So far, the only mechanical issue involves the stock brake pads, which we managed to obliterate after two long track days and a bit of autocrossing. We swapped in some aftermarket pads, better suited for track day use, and we expect they'll serve us well for the remainder of our loan. Nearing the end of its third generation, after more than two decades of sales, the Miata is still a Miata. It scratches an itch that no other car can. For those who appreciate a small, affordable, two-seat, rear-drive, just powerful enough convertible sports car, it's really the only game in town, a game we're eager to play for another six months or so.